Hey guys, Keaton here from TechSmart. Today we're going to be doing a highly requested video. Is it worth the upgrade to the brand new 2013 MacBook Airs? So behind me on top of my iMac, we have the 11 inch MacBook Air and then right behind it to the right of it or left of it, depending where you are, I can't really tell because I'm not in the, the theater pr production place. Uh, we have the 13 inch MacBook Air. So we've matched it up with the exact same specifications of benchmarks. We're going to be doing comparisons to between them, and both models match to the specific previous model in 2012. So we're going to have the same specifications. So for the 11-inch MacBook Air, it's the baseline model from 2012 matched with the 2013 baseline model we have on top of my iMac. And then for the 2013 model, we have kind of to the one of those directions to it. Uh, it's the top-notch one of the 13-inch model. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look. So before we hop into this video, let's go and talk about specifications. So for the 11 inch MacBook Air that we're going to be comparing to, so the 2012 model versus the 2013 model, the 2012 model features a 1.7 gigahertz dual core i5 Ivy Ridge chip, 4 gigabytes of RAM, an Intel HD 4000 GPU, as well as 64 gigabytes of SSD storage. The 2013 model that is standing on top of my uh, iMac here features a 1.3 gigahertz dual core i5 Haswell chip, 4 gigabytes of RAM, the Intel HD 5000 GPU, as well as 256 gigabytes of SSD storage. So on the other side of the spectrum here, we have the 13-inch model MacBook Air. So we have the 2013 model, it's on my desk, it's playing a safer game versus the you know 11-inch model. And then we have the 2012 model. So the 2012 model starts off at 2.0 gigahertz, it's dual-core i7 uh, Ivy Bridge chip. It features 8 gigabytes of RAM, it features the Intel HD 4000 GPU, as well as 512 gigabytes of SSD storage. The 2013 model, again, it's on my desk, it's chilling like a villain. Uh, it features the 1.7 gigahertz dual-core i7 Haswell chip, 8 gigabytes of RAM, it features the Intel HD 5000 GPU as well as 512 gigabytes of SSD storage. So up first is the 11 inch model. So we tested it with Geekbench and Cinebench, but for the Geekbench scores, the 2012 model received a score of 5,770 and the 2013 model received a score of 6,773. Pretty substantial here and uh, it's about 1,003 points in between. So yes, I can do math uh, and this is something you're gonna wanna consider when making a decision. So for the Cinebench one, it tests the GPU and the 2012 model received a score of 15.9 uh, frames per second as the 2013 model received a score of 23.1 one frames per second. So on the other side of the scale here, it's the 13 inch model. We cannot forget about the 13 inch model because it is pretty important and again size does matter. So for the Geekbench test, again this tests everything on the computer and then gives it its total score. So for the 2012 model it received a score of 7,007 as the 2013 model received a score of 8,305. That's 1,300 points in difference there. So massive, massive, massive difference with the 2013 over the 2012. And again, it could affect your decision. For the Cinebench test, again, it's gonna be testing the GPU here. The 13-inch 2012 model received a score of 19.4 frames per second as the 2013 model received a score of 26 frames per second. So to answer the main thesis of this video, is it worth the upgrade? So from the 2012 model to the 2013 model in terms of the 11-inch MacBook Air, on paper, yes. The Geekbench score reports a 1,003 difference in terms of points from the 2012 to the 2013. In terms of the GPU performance here, it's about 7.2 points in between. Those stats are absolutely substantial when you're editing or doing things like that. And if you're, you know, just want to use this computer for leisure, obviously you can go ahead and stick with the 2012 model, you're going to be fine. But if, you're going to want, if you want to use this for actual performance, as much as I would recommend a MacBook Pro, if you want to use a MacBook Air, it's definitely worth the upgrade here, is those extra graphics and those extra points in the GPU side are really going to be helping you out a bunch. Transitioning over to the big guy here, is it really worth the upgrade for the 13 inch? I would absolutely again say yes, mainly because the Geekbench score reports a 13, 1300 points difference as the uh, Cinebench score reports a score of 5.6 frames per second difference. So again, Apple, Apple's obviously going to make it bigger with a new model, and I would consider that quite substantial depending on what you're doing. Again, if you're using it for leisure, stick with the model you have. It's not really worth the upgrade because you're not doing high-performance tasks. Again, I would recommend a heavier computer such as a MacBook Pro Retina, something along those lines, but if you really want to get a MacBook Air and, you know, thinness matters to you. I so in conclusion here, again, this is a video from just my perspective. You might think differently. But personally, if you're using a computer for leisure, I don't really think it's worth the upgrade at all unless your computer starts to get really slow and there's not much you can do with it. And that's just because you know technology keeps evolving and there's always going to be something better. But I do think it's best to hold out. If you're just using a computer for you know normal internet browsing and maybe a little slight video watching uh, and maybe just some casual movie browsing, 
but if again, if you're doing high performance tasks, it's definitely worth the upgrade here if you have the money to it. I mean, if money was no object, I would clearly go ahead and upgrade to both these models, but I'm only gonna be keeping one. And the one I've kind of decided and leaned a little bit more towards is the 13 inch model is I like the bigger screen, the bigger hard drive on it, as well as the faster uh, CPU. So again, it was a hard decision for me to really you know, conclude this decision here. But again, if you're looking for high performance, it's definitely worth the upgrade. Thank you guys so much for watching this video regarding is it really worth the upgrade from a 2012 MacBook Air to a 2013 MacBook Air. If you guys did enjoy this video, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button as it helps the channel out so much. And also, if you guys would like to go ahead and check out my other videos regarding unboxings and in-depth performance tests on this computer so you can go ahead and get a good glimpse to see what these can really do to a, a further extent that we could not explain in this video, the links can be found right below the like button on this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll catch you in my next video.